Good evening everyone, this is Tyba Littles and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys a great technique that I actually came across just playing around with the Crooked Design Space app for my iPhone. So one of the first things I need you to do is to subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell so that when I do new tutorials you'll be alert of my new tutorials and materials. So also check out the description box for very important information pertaining this tutorial. So let's get started. The very first thing you want to do is actually connect to your Cricut Air 2. So what I'm going to do is go to my settings. I actually have my Cricut Air 2 cut on. Go to my settings, turn on my Bluetooth, and my Bluetooth is going to pop up for Cricut Air 2. And the default pin for your Cricut Air 2 is 40. So you're going to do 0000. zero, zero, zero. And it just takes a moment. You want to make sure that you're close to your machine so that you're able to pair the two. And you see that we're connected so we're ready to rock and roll the app that i'm actually using i'm going to create a shadow name effortlessly and you will be able to do this too i'm actually going to go into pixar and click the plus button at the bottom and you see i've already been practicing with this method already i absolutely love it okay scroll down and go to color backgrounds okay and you want to have a clear background because you want to create a, a name png so that you're able to create a name with a shadow that you'll be able to cut in design space okay so click t text i'm actually going to do trinity select it and the font that i used in my tutorial that's located in my free classes my free class blog i actually um did this font right here and the most important thing is that at the bottom you want to click stroke and you want your stroke to be black because that's going to be much easier to clean. I just keep the colors black and white because once you get into Cricut Design Space app, you can change it to whatever colors you want to change it to. So for demonstration purposes, I'm going to leave my font white and my shadow black. So after that, I'm going to make it as big as I can without cutting off anything on my mat. So after that, I'm going to select apply because I'm satisfied with that. Okay, now I'm going to select next, select save, save, and now it's saved. So now I'm going to open up my Cricut Design Space app, select a new project. We're going to upload, go to select from photo library, all photos, select name, and now we're in cleanup mode. So the very first layer we actually going to do is the shadow. So select next, leave the whole shadow blank. So we're going to select next again and I save it as whatever you want to save it as, but I'm going to save it as YouTube Trinity shadow. Select save. So that's my first layer. Select close at the bottom of my screen. Go to upload because we're going to upload it one more time so we can get the script. Okay. So now I have this, I'm going to select my remove and make it big. So I can remove all of the black. So that's my first step. I just remove all of the black first. Outside of the Y. What well, inside of the Y. And that's it. So now I'm going to select my erase. And make my erase cursor smaller. Because now we have to erase all of these small lines around. And remember when you're doing this. Just like with on screen. You want to start, stop, start, stop. Because if not, you'll make a mistake and you got to start all over fresh. So just remove the black outline. Normally when you're on the desktop, you can just click the black outline and it erases. And as I'm moving my screen, I'm actually using two fingers together. With this um, online app, you're going to have to pinch the screen in order to make it big and small. As well as moving your design. Oh, just do undo. And my battery's going dead. Joy. <laughs> I just want to show this to you guys quickly. Okay. So I'm just tracing over. And it honestly just takes a moment, believe it or not. Okay. So I'm erasing all of my black. Start and stop in. So now I've cleaned it. Make sure. Just give it a good look. Make sure I don't have any foreign. I just caught that one. Any foreign objects. Caught a little, few little speckles here. Okay. Looks good. So now we're going to select next at the top. 
and it looks like I cleaned it up really good. I messed up with the tea a little bit over there, but we're gonna just gonna move forward. So I'm gonna do YouTube Trinity script. Okay, select save. Okay, so I'm gonna select both of my parts, go to insert. So I have both of my parts and I'm gonna make them smaller because they turned out to be really, really huge. So I'm gonna make my screen smaller by pinching. I'm gonna select both of my shapes and make them smaller like so. Okay, pull them apart. You do not want to change them, the shape of them individually because the script will not fit into the shadow. So make sure when you change the shape of the um, design that you're changing the shape of both of them at the same time, okay? So to change my color, I'm just gonna go here. Also, I have my phone um, where it's, the screen is unlocked. So I'm able to access some of these features a little bit better. So I'm going to go to edit and you see it says no fill. I'm actually gonna go to fill. Let's see print, what we're gonna change it to. Let's do green and then I rotate it back. Okay, I don't want it as print. I actually want it as cut. Let's see, there we go, cut. Save it as cut. Uh-oh, did I save it as score? Save it as cut so that those menus up a pop up the colors and i'm going to do this as cut as well and do the shadow maybe yellow yellow and green can you guys see that and just lay it right on top of your shadow like so and you guys have it isn't that cool so i'm going to select all and change my width i usually do my width 4.5 for my names and that's it you guys isn't that cool okay so now that we have that we're going to click make it and i actually had another mat so i'm replacing it so there's my mat you see it's about four and a half inches that's my shadow and that's my print and to see how i actually continued for it after this you guys can check the description box so that you can see not only details of this actual tutorial but you can see how i actually printed it on my Cricut, which is very important because there's some details in that. So check the description box and click that link so that you guys can go to the next video. And I hope that this video was fun to watch and it gave you some insight. I'm completely excited about using this new technique and sharing it with you guys. And I'll catch you in the next tutorial.